invite Miss Mansfield. Send in the next one. Yes, sir. Y'all can go in now, Mr. McKinnon. Oh, hello, sir. Uh, my name is Dal McKinnon. Uh, my card? Hmm. Eddie here will take your name. We'll call you. But, sir, I have a box. Oh, boy. This I gotta see. Well, actually, it's covered with buttons and filled with people. Filled with people? And voices, sir. Uh, allow me to press a few of these buttons and... Uh... Ah, scuttle the skipper. Ah, honey boy. Ah. Hickory, dickory, dock. A snake ran up the clock. The clock struck one. Oh, he got plum rattled. By George, a talking box. Push any button and pow, right in the voice. All right, you are, sir. Any one of which can assist in casting those hard-to-find voices for oh, commercials, cartoons, films, etc. <laughs> what an idea. Casting in a package. Hi, George. Just push buttons. No more messy actors. Come on, boss. It's my turn. I think I'll punch this one, because... Uh... I love life, and I want to... Hunt elephants in India. But our entire safari was completely protected by a thick layer of hog liver, deep fried, of course, and completely smothered with human hair, <laughs> which I have kept. Out here in the corner, then we'd like to have you folks drop in any time and just say, you should be laid away in style. Well, young man, you've sold me. This is the greatest. Then you can use my vocal services? Oh, thank you, sir. May I leave my card? Card? No, just leave the box. But just thinking of any kind of a, a gimmick that'll help you remember how to get into these sounds. And then you can extend that. Or another one is... And go, you can go. But you, you started out with a. All kinds of additions can go with it. Well, now, oh, yes, you don't have one. I remember you don't have one. And you can try it. You can try it without, without the, without the movement of the hand, if you, if you. You sound like a bunch of bees. That's great. That's a good sound. All right. Now, uh, on each one of these, I have. I have put five examples. <coughs> uh, think, leaping. In other words, I'm trying to think, or a thought here, and a color. Now, I think in terms of color. Forget it, or accept it, or put your own color in. Do you, do you see colors when you hear sounds? If you do, put it down. Anything to suggest to you how to shift the gear and get in. Get in that just boom, right off the bat. You don't have to think about it. It just happens because you're you're seeing yourself boom, seeing yourself leap. You're hearing uh, you're hearing sounds inside your head before you even emit them. And it just automatically helps you shift right into gear. Uh, I I see it as kind of a boom, black sound with a little highs of yellow accents, but as I say, forget the color scheme completely. Sometimes I've had people that have told me, that, boy, that really helps them, because they, you can get your own color scheme, forget about using this, but just thinking of any kind of a, a gimmick that'll help you remember how to get into these sounds. All right, now, uh, going back as to as the uses for these things, like, for instance, uh, you can use it for, uh, Besides the leaping, also the like you 
It goes along with that sound. So think in terms of you can actually put a little melody sort of thing into it as you go. At the same time, think in terms of if you get lots of clack with it, then it begins to be kind of like water drips. Everybody be a bunch of frogs now. Rowan Island. Now make it ring. Make it ring. Now let's let's have this this side go. to see you can make some kind of simulated frog sounds for kids, those of you who are teachers and whatnot, you know? So there are some uses for them. Then also, think A. Now, starting at the top, Roman numeral straight under that subheading A. It's a high, tight, upper nasal. Now let's go to the use first. A cat yowl. Or a baby cry. <laughs> Or a witch. <laughs> or Archie. Hi, boys and girls. Wow, here we are at Riverdale High. <laughs> and got an audience. That's the main thing we need in this life. All right, <clears throat> now, and of course the when you're swinging in a high contratenor or a as I say, I do not have complete control of my voice tonight, so it's very difficult, you see. And it's just a high part of your range. And of course, chicken squawks. <laughs> see the... The high of all of these characters that I'm doing now is the only part we're talking about in this specific... Uh, division of the category. So, now how do we do this? Well, let's go to the action. It's breathy, and it's vocal, in the upper range of the, of the yawn. Ah! Oh! Oh! It's clear at the top, right at the tip top. Ah. All right. And usually, and I give it the finger test, and uh, usually you'll feel, everybody, finger test if you will. Your larynx. Now, squeeze it a little bit, and get a, it's, it's a high range. Come on. Ah, ah. Can you feel that vibration? The vibration must be above the Adam's apple in order to get that proper feeling. Come on, Rob. Grab your neck. Okay. Now, now, also, you know, when you get up there in the high, you see, up in there, you have to use your diaphragm. And it gives you some volume. Uh, at the same time, it includes more nasal. Now, to find out how about your nasal, give it the finger test on the nose, see? And see the difference of how much of it you're actually using. Okay, let's try some of those together. Oh, yes, here we go, everybody with it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. 
Yeah. Right. Okay, let's all try it together. Come on. Do it. Do the thing on that. Hi. Hi. All right. All right. Now let's just say, Hey, gang. Here we are at Riverdale High. Hey, gang. Here we are at Riverdale High. That's right. Get the high. High as high as you can get it. Okay. Now. Going on to B, which is high, tight, and scratchy. <clears throat> uh, now, why I call it scratchy is because they're using a nice, clean, straight voice for Archie, and then you put some rough in it and scratch it, see? I don't mean to scratch your throat, but gravel the sound. Like, um, for instance, uh, I use this for a uh, rooster, you know. Oh, boy, by the way, I almost forgot. Everybody... Open up. Come on, Sarah. You show us how you do this, will you? Now, you, you just flap your wings like this, see? Here we go. Come on. Now, you take a deep breath. Come on, Sarah. Stand up. And, and here we go. Just just like Daddy, see? Here we go. Flop your wings and say... This is no time for laughter. Get your arms out there. Come on. Do it. Come on. Come on. All together now. Beautiful. Wasn't that beautiful, Sarah? Okay. So, <clears throat> now, that's a good for a rooster. It's also good for a small, a medium-sized dog, which is like... Uh, you see, it's the break. It's the break in the dog. Not, but, kind of a screech, you see. Get that screech in there, which is the gravel. And that's what gives you your quality. Okay. Uh, also, it can be used as a screech, like a... Stick uh, your tongue at the top of the, of the roof of your mouth and do that, and you get a different sound, which is... It's a, ah, yeah, ah, yeah, ah, yeah, ah. See the difference? Just by putting your tongue up there changes the whole tone. So, now you get the, the ape part of that. Of course, is the <laughs> which is in the low. <laughs> See the difference between that? Just try a straight. Ah! No scratch. Ah! Now scratch it. Ah! All right, by the same token, do a clean one and then do a crow. That's straight, straight. Ah! All right, now get the crow in there. Ah! 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 Now, by the same token, if you put your tongue up there in the roof of your mouth, See, then you go back further, and you're doing it over your uvula, and then that gives you a different sound, which gets it to flop in there. <coughs> See, as opposed to the, <coughs> it's not that; it's clear in the back. We'll get to that later. Okay. Now you feel that finger test, the vibration on your esophagus, and then you add whatever kind of a special effect you want to. And the various sounds that I showed you. <clears throat> All right, now the going on with the straight. This is the uh, yeah, two page one. So you know, this is mid tight, non scratchy. Well, now what we're at now is uh, uh, a kind of a uh, it's in the back of the throat and it's the top of the yawn. Okay? All right, it's not scratchy at all. But you see what's happening? Ah, ah, yeah, while I'm talking here, like that. Ah, 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 ah. You see, by putting your tongue up in the top of your mouth now. Ah, 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 ah. 
Okay, everybody try it. Real high now. You see then? Then you can get part of your growl, your small growl in there too. And um, of course, with that, we'll go there. which is uh, placing your tongue about halfway between the top of your mouth and the normal position that it would lie in. And lots of diaphragm and just push. So we go. Suppress that way in the back of your throat. And then we'll get to that position. Now, see, here's what's happening. In all of these, in these mechanics, you're hearing one type of mechanic, and we're going on, you say, gee, that almost sounded like the other one. You go on the next page, well, that almost sounded like the one before. But they're just that much different. And if you add this mechanic to that mechanic to this mechanic, suddenly you get an entirely different thing. Like, for instance, which is one high, which is a, which is to scratch it up. You know, you can then bring it down into an entirely different positioning, which gives you a whole different sound. So what I'm hoping before the end of the day, you will all try to see if you can take two mechanics at least and put them together and come up with your own concoction, which you can put on the very last page. I have left a little <laughs> space for you, says, uh, for personal mechanics. Now. This is the mid-breathy open. We just did the, the mid-tight. Now you see that was, that was, pretty, that was pretty tight because eh, eh, you have to use a lot of diaphragm pressure there. All right, now under D, mid-breathy open. Now, now this is just where you got the, the high voice, but actually it's not, a, uh, it's not a lot of pressure in your diaphragm, very little pressure at all. And it's at the high part of your yawn. It's very breathy. And make it real smiley because that gives you a brighter tone. See? Uh, like, for instance, uh, I, I, you could do an old a little kid, you know, about like so. And, uh, and as you have less throat opening, you can get uh, more of the cockney and, and uh, some of the Irish and, and some of the positioning in there. And of course, your little. See, it's all up in there like that. It's all the same basic position. But the thing is, it's breathy. See the difference in the breath here? And that! Total difference, because you're putting them in a different part of your, of your throat, and also you're using a, a, a different section of your nasal cavity and, and not as much diaphragm as we did before. So, uh, yeah, then you start getting into your imitation of uh, different actors, you know, like the oh, James Cagney, you know, I'm, I'm, and I'm not, uh, I'm not an impersonator. You take uh, Robert over here, he can do the impersonations, but... But you see, you can do a little Mexican chihuahua, too. It's just a little thing like that, and it depends on how you position it in your throat and how you open your lips, and it gives a different tone altogether. See, up in here or up in here, you see? Try this. Come on. Everybody try this, eh? All right. See what I mean. Oh, yes. And you can do a snake, too. Sneaky character. Yes. All right. All right. But you see, that's where, that's where the position is. It's up in there. So what I'm telling you is you can sing with these kinds of things, too. You know? Why, well, you do it all in character. Now, going on to page three, it's the um, straight continued, and it's the E, low, breathy, open. And uh, you see, now we're going in the bottom end of the, of the yawn. <sighs> yes, sir, that's just what I thought. <laughs> and, uh, you know, you could all do a dopey character, like, uh, you know... Uh, Dopey Griggs over here, and, and uh, oh, 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 
which is the lower end of the honky, honky donkey. Break it. And then, then suck in, and you get your squeak. All right. Uh, just a uh, uh, sort of a silly sounding simpleton. <laughs> All right. Sort of a silly sounding simpleton. <laughs> yeah. So put a little lisp in it and make it even sillier sounding. Yes. <laughs> All right. Now, that's the uh, low breathy open, and here's the low breathy tight. And it's the same as above, only it. Well, you see. Uh, 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 tighten the diaphragm. Uh, and as soon as you get it tight, that's what comes out. Uh, 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 uh. You see? You're starting out with a. Uh, uh, I'm doing it all in my diaphragm. I'm not, I'm not trying to change my throat at all. Okay, everybody, finger test your diaphragm. Yeah, it sounds like a cow pasture. All right. All right. Now, you, you, can, you can work on that later. Now... Now you've got the low, breathy tight, um, you know, which is what, what, what I just am doing here. <clears throat> yes. And at the same time, you can also do the... And then use it for the ventriloquism thing, too. You know, it's, <clears throat> if I can possibly do it. won't do it tonight, I'm sorry. But you know the idea. Okay, squeeze it off. Everybody squeeze off your voice and just barely, barely get a sound. Barely get the sound out of you. Yeah. Just barely hear a squeak of a sound coming out of you. And boy, I'm telling you, when you've got a clear throat on a clear day, it really sounds like there's a little guy in the other room. It's fantastic how it really does work, but how, how they can do it and at the same time not move their lips. You know? Now we got the G, subheading G, low open, which is the, uh, no, you know, you know, let's go. Uh, yeah, so you see, no, it's down in here. Yes, and you, you sort of drop your jaw, and you project that big voice. I don't know any way that you can do this without getting a large voice out of it. Well, yes, so you see, uh, and by the same token, you get that. Get an ape. <laughs> Feel your diaphragm when you do that. <laughs> Feel your diaphragm. <laughs> if you don't feel a tight diaphragm, you are not doing it right because that's what makes the sound. Okay. Say, you know, sing it out, make it feel free. I love. You see, it's all right way down in there. All right, uh, young man, come here, everybody. Young, young man, come here. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> Don't say little girl come here, though, because you might scare somebody. All right, now, uh, you see the feeling there, once again, in, in the, that cavity in the back. Actually, it's, it's the pharynx, the cavity in back 
of your Adam's apple up in that range up in there is is what is oh, oh everybody open that yawn oh, oh, oh young man oh young man huh oh, yeah you see you see how much lower and bigger and rounder you can make that feel because it it really is that's what gives you the tone you see that's what gives you a different tone <clears throat> all right now page four now the open uh oh, we're in the nasal this is this is a nomen roman numeral two nasal subheading a open flat I mean here's your old friend Lester, lackluster. You know, it's a very uh, flat voice, monotone, very nasal. It's a te test nasal there. And you see, now I'm speaking normally. <laughs> so what I'm doing is actually I'm closing the back of my throat slightly, restricting the air. But make it sound like it's in the back of your throat, not eh, eh. Way back. Yes, way back. All right. Now, now what I normally feel is I extend my jaw. Eh. And it helps me get the tone that I'm looking for. And my tongue is almost flattened against the roof of my mouth. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. My tongue is not down below. It's way up in there. Yes, I see what you mean. All right. And you really suppress that larynx. Practically no diaphragm. Yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, oh, yeah. Ah, uh, ah, uh, yeah. Well, you see now, if you're getting a grunting sound, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, yeah. But you still have to squeeze it and tighten back your neck in order to get that tone. All right, everybody try that. Uh, everybody say, Lester Lackluster. Lester Lackluster. All right. Now there's one that you can have fun with. Um... Everybody finds a different way to use these, these different uh, mechanics. You find yours, I find mine. Sometimes, I, as I say, you can put two of them together and you get an entirely different sound. Okay, now here's the mid-tight subheading B. Now, this is a cantankerous old man. And uh, now you see, now here's what I'm going to, it's very difficult to show you this one, other than, I just heard a sound once that I wanted to try and do, and so as I kind of go into that, at la, that sort of thing like that, you see, and stick it in the back and make it very nasal, and as I'm doing so, I can uh, kind of make my mouth a little squeezed up and it gets to be an old man all of a sudden, and then if I get some diaphragm in back of it, I get myself way up in the top range, even though it's still way in the back of my throat. And I almost strangle myself when I'm doing it. <laughs> I tell you, it's the funniest thing. It just grabs you right in the, in the back of the neck. <laughs> but you have to, you have to feel, you have to feel that it's way back there. And bring your chin down. Bring your chin down. Yeah. Well, bring your chin down. Yeah. All right. That's good. I'll tell you something. This ain't the easiest sound a body can make. But what you can do then is uh, kind of break your voice and put a little breath into it, you see. And you got yourself a whole brand new old man. Or oh, old lady. Yeah. Try it, old ladies over here. Go ahead. Now yeah, you're doing it out in front, honey. You're not getting that nasal. Nasal. Yeah. Ha. Ah, all right. 
Now, now, all right, let's, uh, let's go on to subheading B. Now, the same one there is that, that tenor, he, 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 it's way up in there. Oh, yes, I see what you mean. <laughs> but it, as opposed to the, as opposed to a, hi, you know, it's not that. And, and it's not, uh, it's not a falsetto in any sense of the word. It's up in here, 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 here. You know, it's, it's way in the back of your throat and you're projecting it like a tenor. Everybody try to be a tenor. Okay, going right along to uh, subheading C, which is low, open, now. Now, this is a strange one. We just kind of are talking straight, and then all of a sudden it becomes that sort of a sound, you see. It's not there, and it's not there. It's there, and, and it's the duck. Back, 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 back sound. Quack, 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 quack. Kapow, 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 kapow. Oh, now it's it's softer and relaxed, both with your diaphragm and your larynx. It's just a kind of a nasal sound that uh, really is totally different from anything we've done so far and give it the finger test and see where we are then. See, it's almost all nasal. All right. Now, by the same token, you can do that. You see, the other cat was This is Down on the bottom part Now then, I'll tell you something else you can do You see why you got this kind of quack quack You can do yourself a good old man or an old lady in your case. You see what I mean? It's it's not that. It's an entirely different thing. But there it's it's a portion of your range. It's tough to get and you've got to work on it in order to feel that right now it, it isn't very resonant. But sometimes I get a nice clean tone. And uh, I don't have much depth depth in my in my throat tonight. Okay. Now, the guttural is, I should have mentioned one thing in here, and I want you to take a note, please, right now. One of the most uh, important factors in testing this is just to <coughs> just, just clear your throat <coughs> gently. <coughs> well, 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 well. All right, now, where you say well, well. Now just keep right on talking when you say, well, well, what do you know? This must be the right one. I wonder if it'll work. Yeah. All right. Now, you see what we're doing here, we're, we got some restriction in the back of our throat and, uh, and your diagram, and your diagram, your diaphragm pressure and your mid range nasal and and it's, it's very breathy. Now, right now, let's sort of think like Edgar Buchanan, you know. Well, sure, he's very, very nasal, very breathy. Now, now what I, what I do is a character which I call Skinny Bones Jones. And you see, I put it right there, just as simple as can be, and I never have any trouble because it's kind of breathy, and it's kind of nasal, as you can tell. At the same time, it just gives me a good old colloquial character that I can just use for almost anything, <laughs> you know. He, he can be friendly or he can be cantankerous. 
I'll tell you, this fella can go almost any kind of a direction as long as you handle that right positioning for his throat to start with. Now, it's kind of in the beginning of the moo. Go that. Now, that's the lower end of it. And now, Mr. Weatherby, uh, which I, uh, I do for um, the Archies, and also uh, a character I did for Water Lance for a good many years, uh, uh, Mr. Willoughby. It's the same. Yeah, oh, my. Yes. Now, you see, that's the higher part of the same positioning, actually. <laughs> it's not down in there quite as much as Buchanan was, but it's... Yeah, oh, it's, it's in here. Oh, my. Yes. But it's not breathy, you see, and it's and it's not any of the other position we've talked about yet. It's um, it's it's up in my nasal, very definitely. Uh, but it does give a wide variety of character possibilities. <laughs> yes. Well, now, <clears throat> or you can get a small dog growl out of that too. You know. <laughs> See, that's that's a big dog. It shouldn't have been. Okay. Now, um, you uh, feel a slight cavity opening when you do that, and you put your finger test your vocal cords. And all right, now clear your throat. <clears throat> well, <clears throat> well, well, well. Now, what do you know about that? Mm -hmm. Well, now this ought to be something we ought to be able to do something with. Mm, well, <clears throat> start out with your clearing your throat. Mm -hmm. Yes, all right. Okay, now, let's go on to the uh, sub B mid adenoidal. Mm, how exciting. Now, this is where we're going to get the, uh, we're going to get the ceiling. And believe me, tonight I don't really have to try too hard. <laughs> Because you see what's happening is that uh, I'm closing off my uh, uh, whatever that little trap door is that's going up into my nasal passage, if you know. And so uh, uh, it, it could close your no nose completely and makes practically no difference. Give your finger test on your nose. And if you're doing it right, you see, it's all going, it's all going right straight out your mouth not going through your nose at all but that's what it sounds like it sounds like a stopped up head and that's what makes a stopped up head believe me is you can't it, nothing's coming out of your nose and so what you do is you make all of your ebbs your ebbs become b's and your ends become d's you know so everybody try and talk like uh, uh what the world all right here we go uh, you know, I'm getting kind of sick of my mistakes. You know, I'm getting kind of sick of my mistakes. You know, don't say any K's or, or N's or any of the normal consonants. Make them all sound, and you see what's happening there. Uh, do this, which is, a, which is sucking in of your Donald Duck. Slurp. Okay, you're taking that, you know. Uh, sounds like you're blowing your... <laughs> Stay. <coughs> Stick around with the real thing. <coughs> I'm afraid. Okay. Now, uh, we won't have questions right now. <coughs> Going right along to subheading C. Low, tight. Now. You should see. Now, what is nothing here, huh? Is all of a sudden you're going, you're going from a, a the a, the nice friendly skinny bones in, and then getting more diaphragm pressure, and then all of a sudden you find yourself getting way down. You know, it's as though you were talking like this, only you're going to put that kind of a gravelly sound in there. Feel the diaphragm. Feel how your pharynx opens up here. Yes. Well, now you see. Yes, you've got a big man here. 
sure you've been a stuffy old Britisher, you know, sort of thing. <laughs> Pompous, you know, stuffy. Now, so you start of your big dog growl, which is... <laughs> All right, buddy, go. Uh, stop it, stop it, stop it, yes, stop it, yes. And at the same time, change it to a dog. It's, um, it's got many excellent, you know. Well, what do you know what's going on here? <laughs> Man, I, what's happening here? Oh, my, my, my. So you see what you can do? Is at the same time you're down here? Down here? You got two different mechanics going for you right there. We already did the one a while ago, right? Up in here? Yeah. Well, that's the bottom part of that. Of the same voice. So you see, I use two mechanics, one right after the other. But knowing where those are, it'll help you find a couple of places you can go to get variety in your specific character. You don't have to do the same mechanics for one character all the way. In other words, all right, D, subheading D, low, forced. And this is a very delicate one. Now, this is one of these kind of guys. You've got to be very careful how you get pretzy, you see. <laughs> For your ape grunts. <laughs> or Popeye. Popeye. And I'm not about to try it now. <clears throat> so I put this big caution here, and it's very important to... You see, if you're doing it right, it won't hurt your voice at all. Because what you're doing is making a very breathy. And that's different than this kind of breathy. Do you see the difference there? Sure. So what you do is you drop your chin, and you open the cavity in the back of your throat. It's very little nasal. Give it the nasal test. Yeah, you see what I'm talking about? All right. And make the diaphragm tight. Sure, that'll help you get the quality. Now, right. the mid-breathy, we start out with a... <laughs> That's all in. Let's let's try now uh, intake through either the nose or the mouth. You do not go out. It's all going in. The back of the tongue controls the passage of the air to the larynx. Loose diaphragm. Feel that diaphragm. Finger test the diaphragm. Loose. <laughs> Now, and you'll find that it's going to get very dry in there, so you can only do it for a short time and then wet your, wet your larynx again. Yeah, hack, hack. Oh, hi, Sarah. Oh, boy. Daddy's, Daddy's going to have a brand new voice for you. Many brand new voices when he gets through here. Okay. Now, what do you do with it? You know, old, like a goose honk, break it. Or, or, a, or a, a seal. I, I usually do the seal of... Use the, the cap effect on there. <clears throat> it, it has something like a goose in it. And you can become a robot with this kind of voice if you make it very monotone. It's not... It's not hard to do once you find the positioning on. Okay, now we're subheading B, low squeezed. And we got the big ape ooks. (coughs) 
Now, you can... That's right. You make that... That's right. Okay. That's it. That's it. Now, by the same token, you get that... You get that clear at the very tip top, and you go. It's a squeak. It's all intake that is not going out. Put the tongue in the top of your roof of your mouth and suck in and squeeze your larynx as tight as you can get it. Lots of diaphragm. Suck it in. You see, if we all get those going, and you, you really control it, you have to stop every once in a while and breathe even. But it, it's a very tight, <clears throat> you have to have a, no phlegm. Now, like I have tonight, you, you have to clear your throat of any kind of phlegm. Rate ratting, rate ratting, rate ratting, rate ratting, rate ratting. Hmm? It's, it's right straight in the middle. I'm inhaling. All this is inhale, all this whole section. Boy. I must have been up awful late dreaming these things up. <laughs> Mid snort. All right, so what is it? It's just plain old. It's across the uvula and through the nose. Snore, that's all. <sighs> then make an O and you'll. Then you get your pig. And you try your. All right. <coughs> now, <coughs> we're in the Roman numeral five, oral. <coughs> Subheading A, which is the jowl. And here is our old friend, the calf. Ah, ah, ah. Very good. That's a good start. Everybody yawn. Everybody yawn and then stick your tongue. All right. I tell you what. Try this. Put the tip of your tongue on the top of your bottom teeth. And then try to talk. Yeah, the tip of your tongue on the bottom of your top of your bottom teeth. <laughs> Everybody laugh. <laughs> well, well, well. <laughs> okay. Now, you, you see, you can do all kinds of... Oh, you can do it way up in there. Well, you see, that's a combination of that and there. Or, oh, you can do it... You grovel like this, and you put it down in there. I'm using two mechanics together. Oh, yeah. You see? Yeah, baby doll. <laughs> yeah. You see? <laughs> Get yourself a nice monster out of that one. And what's fun is to use that voice and slow it down. You know, do it at 7.5 and slow it down at 33 and 7,500, or 15 down at 7.5. Uh, a lot of these you'll find that you can get some weird, really weird effects by taking your tape and, and speeding it up and slowing it down. Cheek intake. Now, here we got just a plain old... Flatten the tongue. Now... You see, you can get... Very soft. Or 
Just all kinds of wild, arky, gargly sounds. <clears throat> Who, who's our chief duck here? It's all right. Chief duck. of your in the back of your your throat kind of you don't use your voice at all you use you just kind of build up uh, the side of your cheek and a pocket of air in the side of your cheek like that and uh, just force air through it from your throat right, here is the regular Donald Duck and here's the, the different one that I do. Hello, this is that little duck speaking. That's that's great because it gives you an entire different quality, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. It's almost like a baby duck. Yeah, it's, it's a. Like, mm -hmm. It could be a, a, a different duck. Yeah. So the, how can you give us just a straight alphabet? I, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. You see, you can always eat you, eat you, eat you, always get your eat you, eat you. That will definitely give you a change. All right? Now, now. Control it. You see, get it really controlled and get that. You have to take a deep breath in order to be able to sustain that for any time at all for a cat. Now, it's interesting that if you take this, And then you take that mechanics, then you take this mechanics, <coughs> which is your uvula, <coughs> and you put them together, and you get... <coughs> then you put that mechanics together with a... <coughs> and you get a... There it is. You get a get a, an airplane. Starting out. <laughs> Anybody got a, a napkin or something for the mic here? All right. You, you gals will have fun with those cat purrs. You go purring your cats here, and I'm swearing, I can I can put that mic on on my cat on Sassy, and then I put it, and I go upstairs and I work out in the studio. And I listen to it back and forth. And boy, I'm telling you, you can get it if you try. If you really work on these things, you'd be surprised how you can get them. Sure, you, everybody thinks you're nuts, but nevertheless, you're convincing yourself that you can control that one specific sound, which means you control other sounds and other sounds, put them together, and you got yourself a whole character for radio, for television, for the world, for the stage, for the uh, Academy Awards. Anybody see Carson tonight? Oh, some of his jokes. Huh? Yep. Yeah. Okay, putting your tongue in the top of your mouth. We can all do that, you know. But it's just, it's just make a note of that. It's just the clacking of the tongue. No, 
All right, going on to V1 Glottal. V1. Now, under subheading A, boom. Good old boom. Good old boom, buck boom, boom. Now, throat, subsection, subsection B, throat. Um, this is the, um, the, the sound is a, ooh, no, let's see. Uh, 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 uh. It's ingested. It's <laughs> open your mouth and go. <laughs> now close your close your mouth and go. <laughs> then <laughs> close off your nose. <laughs> you see what you can do is. Get some good ooks for apes. <laughs> Groundhog. <laughs> this is what the uvular. That's Roman numeral seven. And here, of course, is the. Everybody try it. All right, can you all get the uvular roll? Try it. Now, slow it down. Now, you combine that with tongue trills and lips flutters and you you see it says it's whistle subheading a non-musical and breathy now here we go with a take a deep breath Make a little whistle coming to it. Okay, so what? Uh, at the same time you're doing that, you can go make a or you can go make it a tighter. Yeah. Right. Now, now if you got subheading B, you got baby chicks. Now we got the little soft whistle. Now we got this little. So by adding a soft Z to that. You 
so you can get it. Move your lip just a little bit and you get an entirely different sound. Do a little bird. Okay, birds, back in the nest. Now, now, with, with the vocal that I just added, you can get that with a Everybody get that real high. Now put a buzz, put a Z in it. Lips are nine. Lips oral. Nine, nine. Nine. That's right. All right, here we go. Now, here's a fun one. Because now you put your upper teeth against your lower lip and gently blow. Otherwise, you're going to run out of breath so fast. Or you can go, oh. You can then let it clear down all the way out. All right, pull over. Where do you think you're heading there? You see, you can use a kind of imitation kazoo there, too. Okay, now we got the vocal mid breathy. Now, That little tiny. You get a little vibrato. Get a vibrato on your trumpet. Subheading low vocal breathy. Now you got the as a fitting finale. A rousing raspberry.